When it comes to fixed income investors, I think it's important to distinguish between spread products and interest rate sensitive products. Spread products, i.e. credit, it should be a decent environment um, helped by ongoing QE from central banks, by negative real yields, and also we're seeing default rates rolling over at a time when we're seeing more upgrades um, from high yield into investment grade. On the other hand, when it comes to interest rate sensitive um, fixed income um, strategies, that might be a little bit more challenging. And the key reason there is that the market is increasingly pricing in inflation, and that can cause a challenge to that part of the market. Investors can find fantastic opportunities for both income and growth in Asia across the risk spectrum, starting from the more defensive parts of the risk spectrum, Chinese government bonds, very attractive real yields, very attractive nominal yields, an under own market, we're seeing ongoing capital flows, and at the same time, inflation is not really a concern. If anything, China is fighting disinflationary forces. When it comes to credit across investment grade and high yield, very attractive valuations and resilient fundamentals. And lastly, on the equity side, especially looking at ASEAN markets, deeply discounted valuations, such as in Singapore, for instance, you've got banks, you've got REITs. These are both sectors that can perform very nicely in a inflationary environment. Brought to you by UOB Privilege Banking.